I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading. We are a full service physical gold and silver dealer specializing in strategies. And I am so happy to tell you that today I have my very good friend, Greg Manorino here on a special edition of Coffee with Lynette. He is absolutely known as the Robin Hood of Wall Street, and he is an active full-time trader with worldwide following. His website has well over 139,000 subscribers at traderschoice.net, and you will find the links to everything on the blog. His motto is love each other, care about each other, and be charitable, and frankly, that is critical today. Additionally, he has written a number of really fantastic books, and many of them are free to download. Again, those links are there as well. And you just talked about how to get debt free, but first of all, let me thank you for coming on, Greg. It's so good to see you again. Great to be here. Absolutely love you, love your show. And I'm glad to be here, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's mutual admiration. And you know, sometimes I think maybe you're a little bit of a seer because this book that you wrote back in 2013, The Politics of Money, and if you don't mind, I just want to read this piece and then I want to talk about it. This is where you warned us that never before in recorded history has humankind faced a crisis like the one which lies directly in our path. An unstoppable cataclysmic fiscal event is rapidly approaching, which is going to wipe out a large portion of the world's population. Make no mistake about it, those holding positions at the highest levels of government are well aware that a monster is coming our way. But there is a paradox. Although, I'm getting chills, Although this single event is going to leave the vast majority who survive desperate and destitute, never before has there been a greater opportunity for those with little or no net worth to become massively wealthy. And further you say that societies are based upon perception and deception. And it is these two principles which are the driving forces propelling the peoples of nation by their leaders. I mean, you wrote this back in 2012, published in 2013. It seems like you knew what was going to happen. Can you explain more, you know, why you wrote it, it some key takeaways, what we need to know about this? Sure. Wow. You know, it's crazy. I haven't heard that stuff. And so I don't even have a copy of that. I don't even know if it's available anymore. It um, is. It's it available is. on Amazon. They have all the links. Is that right? I had no idea. But you know, no, look, for me, this is this is what really got me going. And with this whole thing, when I the last meltdown, when, when I, I lost a lot of money in the market back then, I was not the man that I am now. I didn't have the understanding of the markets that I have now. That is really the truth. And it wasn't just what happened to me. I witnessed during what during that meltdown what happened to my very dearest friends and their families, and it, it led to some of them, you know, losing everything, their marriages, their, not just money, uh, everything. So it affected me in a very, well, I would say a negative way, but it it, it brought out a lot of positives too. I said, hold on a minute. I was like, something is very wrong here. And then I looked at all the steps that they were doing to try to reprop up this whole entire thing. And it was kind of simple to me at the time to say, okay, this is what happened. This is what they're doing to fix it. They're not fixing anything. <laughs> no. So what we're gonna end up doing down the line is face a much worse event. And right. it just kind of clicked. and I, and that was really it. And, you know, for me, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm able to, and I've always been like this. It's really the truth. Anyone that knows me for any length of time, I, I'm, I, would be like, I would like to believe that I'm a very perceptive person. I take things in and my mind processes them and I kind of, things just 
occur in my brain. I'm not lying. For example, like, I mean, let's talk about trading. Like, you know, I, I trade these markets like a maniac every day. And like, I sometimes I'll just get a, I will at times, I know how crazy this is. I will just trade off of a gut feeling. And nine times out of 10, it'll turn to be the right, turn out to be the right thing. So I don't know. I think back then it was for some people back then. I don't know. I was not the only one was saying something is very wrong. What are they trying yeah. to do? What, how can they fix this issue? What, what are they doing? They're flooding the world with debt right now to try to reprop up these bubbles. And they've been very successful in doing that. But there's going to be, and it's, I said this to myself back then, I still say it right now, a terrible, absolutely horrible price to pay for this. And we haven't even begun to see it. Nothing, like you right. and I were talking before this, what's going on here in Las Vegas alone, and it's everywhere, neighborhoods around the, wor around the world, not just here in the United States. You know, we're in this, this induced thing. Uh, and you know, look, I think there's a lot more to it than I think we're being told with regard to the oh, yeah. pandemic, scandemic, plandemic, whatever you want to call it here, right. what, they're, what they're trying to do. And look, I think, you know, all of this, what we're seeing now is part of that. The stuff that I spoke about way back when, because look, I don't think uh, you know yes. any of us possess that much of a, uh, a knowledge to see things that we would know what they were going to throw at us. But I always say, be ready for anything. anything. Expect it. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, like I don't care if they're going to tell you that aliens are going to land on the White House lawn. You gotta have expected it to happen. And in this environment, look expect anything that's all I, I have to say so always keep that high ground understand that what you're seeing is not even real the environment we are in is not real it's all fake it's all propped up propaganda lies we can't get the truth at all from from our politicians there i mean i don't know what's going on this is not the united states of america that i think we had just even back in that time so things have changed very heavy dramatically and they're going to change even worse as the Federal Reserve I think it continues to its stranglehold on the world um, what did we just hear today was it cash carry or one of them another 3.5 trillion dollars and I think they're lowballing it with regard to what they're gonna have to print out of thin air add to a digital screen 3.5 trillion how about maybe three four times that and if they, if they don't I mean look the system as you well know demands that debt be borrowed into existence in greater and greater amounts. Without this mechanism, the whole thing implodes. We turn into Mad Max. We literally get a worst case scenario. And what they're doing is trying to keep this all afloat by printing, by adding digits to a screen, creating massive distortions across the spectrum of asset oh, yeah. classes like we've never seen before. Artificially suppressed rates have created a bubble environment in every Everything. We have inverse bubbles. We have super bubbles, mega bubbles, the dead. Nothing makes sense. All we do know, again, is this will correct to a fair value, whatever that is, and no one's smart enough to know. I, I don't think. Maybe you are. I'm, I'm not. I'm not smart enough to know. All I do know is the environment we are in is twisted and people are being set up here. It's already the largest wealth transfer we've ever seen. We have what now 60% of small businesses here in the United States closed forever with corporate America is now stronger than they have ever been. Wall Street is gonna get their highest bonuses ever on record. Well, look, well Main look Street. You. Yeah. Does this make sense? It's insane. I'm going to shut my mouth so you can say something. But I, I mean, <laughs> as you can see, I am very passionate about this. And I, it just drives me nuts when I hear the lies, when I hear the propaganda. Yeah. We're in a V-shaped recovery. No, it's a super V-shaped recovery. We're adding jobs. We're adding nothing. We haven't even begun to see this thing unwind yet. Not even close. Well, now, you know, okay. But I want you to keep talking. But I want to direct it back to Main Street. Because, you know, you just released a publication, an ebook on getting out of debt. But you're in Las Vegas, which is really the service sector center in some ways. And I'm going to let you say what you're seeing even in your own backyard. Because I think that really is indicative of what's happening to Main Street. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Well, I would say in probably about over the last six weeks, we, I've seen, uh, and I think anyone who lives out here would attest to that, uh, the homeless population is ballooning. You've yeah. got virtually every street corner here. 
in my, in my neighborhood, everywhere you want to go, there's people with signs out here that need help. It's pathetic to see what's going on here. And I, I told you in the backyard, out my top window here, there's a big field. There was a Hooverville, was a Hooverville out there that was developing. And the police came in and the sanitation wow. department, they kicked these people out. They took all their stuff, everything. Even they, they some of these people had bicycles out there. I don't know where they got them from. They, they took them and they threw them in the back. I was watching this. They threw their stuff in the back of the dump truck and they just drove away like these people were like rats. They treat, you know, it's but disgusting. this is what we are. Look, to, we're nothing. You know that we're greasing the wheels of this entire thing that we are in right now, and it is a thing. This is some kind of a corporate merger that we're witnessing right now. Like I said, corporations stronger than they've ever been, bigger bonuses on Wall Street than they've ever seen. Well, tremendous amount of mergers destiny. and acquisitions, right? So, so, but at the same time, we also have. Let's talk about debt a little bit, because how are these corporations going to continue? to these profits next week are gonna start announcing their profits for mm -hmm. the quarter or what have you. But we've got the consumers at the largest debt that they've ever been. And here's part of the problem is a lot of that debt has been securitized, turned into securities and then sold back into pension plans, retirement plans, IRAs, the individuals that are seeking that yield. How's that gonna end? I mean, does this even... I mean, look, the system is so twisted. Not only are people in more debt than they've ever been, okay, but they continue to borrow. I don't understand what's wrong with these people. How can I don't, they? I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what they're doing. Well, right now, I mean, look, everything is all whacked out right now. But right. people are carrying a higher debt load than they've ever had. The, the, the Federal Reserve is buying, they're buying debt of Dow components. They're buying debt here. It's unfreaking believable what we're seeing here, but people sit there, they don't even understand what any of this is. So they just go about, their, they walk through time and space. Oh, look, everything is great. We are in a V-shaped recovery, duh. You gotta be kidding me. You know, I mean, if things were allowed to be what they are, we would already be in probably a full blown, complete, uh, I mean, you know, look, the stock market is doing one thing. The economy, which is the middle class is doing another, okay? We can, look, people just, I, I mean, they have eyes to see, they have ears, but they're, they're fixated on that box that sits in their their house or their phone or these computers and they're listening to the lies and the propaganda from the mainstream media, from the politicians here, and they think everything is, they're being told everything is fine. And this is, I mean, honestly, this is the most twisted environment we, we have ever been in. If we had a real leader, that person, whether he or she or whatever would say, we got troubles, people. This is what we need to do, and this is how I'm going to fix it. But no, instead of that, we got someone telling us that we're in a super V-shaped recovery. you got to be high as a kite or stoned or I don't know what it is to believe the propaganda right now, but people are because they're locked into their party. They support the party instead of themselves, instead of understanding that it's we, the people that matter. This is supposed to be yeah. about us. It's not supposed to be about a man with a bad complexion or another guy who stutters. It's supposed to be about us, not these things that are that are shoved down our throats. And people are sitting here letting themselves be destroyed from every angle that they couldn't. Going back to the politics of money, I laid out in there how what people should have been doing a decade ago to try to get themselves in shape for what's going on right now. And I exactly. really feel... That the middle class, if they don't act, if they have not been acting, and I think most people have not, how many people, Lynette, you know the answer to this, are actually holders of physical gold or physical silver or have or own things? They they don't. The they don't. A fraction of the people are doing this. A fraction of the people are doing it. Most people, again, they, they live in some kind of twisted reality because of the box that they're listening to, people dictate their lives to them. They're having their lives dictated to them and they're marching along like the sheeps that they are. And this is unfortunately why they're being led to the slaughter. This has been the story throughout history since the beginning of time and it will never stop. We well, I don't know. Your work, yeah. my work, other people's work is about uncovering that truth so that they don't have to be led like lambs to the slaughter. You know, thank God for shows like yours. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, and I, I mean this with every fiber of my being. People need to pay attention to this stuff. I mean, because people like you and me, we've been out here for a long time. 
trying to explain to people how bad things are, how, how they were being lied to. Look at what's going on. And they're walking through time and space laughing. Oh, look, they're crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're out of their minds. Here's the deal. You and me, and there's other people too, are able to see a little further down the road than maybe mm -hmm. other people are. It's almost like it's a gift, I think, in many, many ways. So, you know, maybe people should say, hey, hold on a minute, maybe these people aren't nuts because what they were saying X amount of years ago seems to be happening right now. So maybe I should exactly. tune into these people. But again, what happens to us? When we, when we don't toe the line, we get attacked. We get, you know, if you're not supporting this person because of whatever reason, or, you know, again, it's about supporting an individual. Aren't we supposed to be supporting ourselves? Is this a government of the people, by the people, for the people? That's what it used to be. Now right. it's a fascist merger, and that's what it is. Between yes, it is. corporations and this mm -hmm. new American government, this is a new world order. order. This is not the America that we all knew, and it's it rapidly changed. I mean, come on. This coronavirus thing just miraculously happened to sweep the world at this exact moment in history. They shut down the global economy. They kill the money velocity. This was not China who did this. I don't care who's trying to sell that story. This is the Federal Reserve who killed the global economy so they could finish their final solution since 1913 to be the lender and buyer of last resort so they could own it all. And that's what they're doing now. We haven't seen anything yet, and I think you would agree with regard to what the Federal Reserve is about to do, how the, how much more debt they're going to issue. They're talking about suppressing rates now, what to, at least 2026? How yeah, did they do, do that? Right, it's a joke. Right. People don't understand what that means. How did the Federal Reserve do it? Did he just say, hey, I'm going to snap my fingers and I'm going to, we're going to keep rates low? No, the Fed has to create the cash out of thin air and buy the debt. That's what they do. This is how they keep rates suppressed. They're determined to kill the dollar. I think we're all obviously well aware of that. This is why we're betting against the debt. This is why we're becoming our own central bank, holding gold, holding silver. My favorite asset of all time is silver. I've never wavered from that since the first day I sat down in front of a computer. I, when I thought about what was going on when I put that book together there, and I was looking at the market through the lens of, okay, What's what's being suppressed here? You know, because right. money, as you well know, doesn't go to money heaven. It just moves around. Right. So what what's going on? Where's the game? The game, in my view, and it still remains, is they are artificially suppressing the price of gold and silver via the derivative. You know the mechanism better than anybody else how it how it works. And this is what they continue to do. And what does that tell us? This is what we need to be in. That's and what, will, exactly because at the same time they're doing that, they're buying it hand over fist. Yeah, well, of course, they're keeping, <laughs> they're keeping the prices suppressed right. as much as they possibly can. I don't know one person that uh, most people that I know, in fact, no, all the people that I know that had a few dollars, okay? I'm talking about people that have a little liquid. All of them own gold and own silver and platinum and palladium and cryptocurrencies as well. And they're probably involved in the market one way or the other. But most people, then they're not. They don't hold it. And you talk to people and say, you need to own a physical piece of a piece of physical gold. You need to own a piece of physical silver. They look at you like, really? You can own that? They don't even know it's available. Right. Most people don't even know that they can own this stuff. They're like, really? You mean I can actually own a bar of silver, pure silver? I'm like, yeah, you can. It's not that hard. And you better start getting some soon. Really, you think that's a good investment, Greg? Duh. I mean, that's what I want to say. <laughs> Obviously, I don't say that. Um, I'm you know, surprised. <laughs> I would think you would actually say that. I wouldn't give them the duh. It's kind of been my, my new thing lately. Look, I, you know, my, my thing is I cannot stand ignorance. It drives me out of my freaking mind. And I, I sometimes, you know, look, I stay sane by owning a couple of fast cars I was showing you, and I go ripping around my neighborhood in them. And, um, you know, maybe doing a duh here or there or or poking fun at individuals that, that I think deserve to be made fun at, like Yellowstone, you know, the Fed chair, I call him Yellowstone. <laughs> As you know, it keeps me, I guess, balanced. But the truth of the matter is, this is a very, and I, cho I joke around all the time. I mean, anyone who knows my work, I, I'm always joking around about something. But the truth of the matter is, this is not a joking matter at all. This isn't. And, it, it's, uh, and to see what's happening just here in my own neighborhood here, is 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 very very disheartening to me because again and, and we talked about this i think pre-interview this we haven't seen anything yet oh, i no. don't think we've seen it all 
I believe sincerely, and I think you would back me up on this, that it looks clearly like we are marching towards a worst worst oh. case scenario. Because what are they doing? I'm going to shut up after this. You got the biggest wealth transfer in the history of the world occurring right Absolutely. now. Okay, it's been going on via the mechanism of suppressed rates for since since the last meltdown. The middle class has been robbed of multiple multiple trillions of dollars in realized wealth that they would have had if we had a real rate environment, if they were collecting interest on their interest earning accounts alone, trillions of dollars, but they've been, right. been stolen to reprop up the stock market. That's all it's done. But you know, you gotta look at that stock market. Our economy is booming. Look at the stock market. You can tell. I think you know who I'm parroting here. This is President Donald Trump, who has no conception whatsoever at what he's looking at. Either that or he's deliberately misleading the people. The stock market has nothing to do with the middle class. The middle class is being decimated. The middle class is the real economy. The stock market completely disconnected from it at all. And that's the only reason why I'm a successful trader is because I know what I'm looking at is a fake market. So I'm trading the rigging. I'm trading the fakery. I'm trading the movement of capital that's being stolen from the middle class and shoved right into the stock market and bailouts for corporations the airlines are now getting their second bailout it looks like another 25 billion dollars meanwhile they're threatening the american people if we don't get a bailout we're going to lay off tens of thousands they're going to do it anyway i mean come on what do, oh, what do you think we already that's... gave them a bunch of bailouts and they we still just laid gave the them airline... off yeah we just gave the airlines 25 billion on the premise that they wouldn't lay people off. This was the deal that the president made. Fantastic and tremendous. But they're laying people off anyway, and they're going to get another 25 billion. That's what it looks like here. Um, I mean, it's crazy. And they're going to still lay people off. You can't make this stuff up. But this is the environment we're in. What are we doing? We we're not allowing capitalism to work. Is this capitalism? Well, what, what are we, Lynette? Let me ask you. What do we have? What is this? You're smarter than me. So tell me what's happening. Oh, no. I absolutely agree with you that this is fascism. And I also will say that it was in 2007, 2008, that the financial system absolutely died. It died. And so, oh, 100%. And that's when I started talking about that we, had, we were in the process of a reset. Now, this pandemic... Wow, I mean, they've known about it for many, many years. They knew that it was going to be transmitted. I think the timing is really interesting because we've got the LIBOR going away next year in, a, in a, you know, just a few months' time, and the whole system has to reset. So, look, World Economic Forum, they got it right. Socially, economically, and financially, we are in a reset. So we have to be scared, and we have to be... I feel like a lot of what's happening is divide and conquer because we're all holed up in our homes. We were separated at birth. <laughs> uh, I, I am dead serious. See, if you know what it is, when you, when you have a, a mind that is kind of tuned into this, okay, mm -hmm. like you're going back to the book that I, I wrote a, a while back, you, you knew all that stuff too. It was just Absolutely. so obvious of what's, because you know, you're in tune to it. You understand what's going on. You're in the frequency, you got it. You're able to see the bigger picture. And that's really what it's all about. And I, I don't think a lot of people can do it. They don't see what's happening around them. They're, una they're unable to take it in because they're brainwashed, because they're yes. being divided, they're being conquered. This is the plan. This is how the few have ruled the many since time immemorial, it will never stop. But, I, but the issue now is it's so much bigger because we have this massive population, which I think Global. is going to shrink by by a, a, a lot when this thing actually peaks out. And to yeah. me, and I would love to hear Horrible. your take on this. So now we know we're in the middle of this, this wealth transfer and they're inflating the stock market. You know, you know what drives me crazy? I got friends of mine who are 401k millionaires. Some of them are 401k multimillionaires. And they're like, Greg, my 401k is doing so great. You're out of your mind. Look at my 401k, but I got 1.5 million. Let me show it to you. Come over to my computer. Let me show you what I got. And I sit there and I laugh. I'm like, you think that's real? 
You think these numbers on the screen, these digits, make you a multimillionaire? Really? Oh, uh, I don't think so. How are you getting that cash out of your account? Tell me that again. Oh, I can't take it out, Greg, because I'll take a big hit. Really? So what do you got? You tell me. And the fact is, this is being set up here as a, an, a, another absolute destruction of the stock market, which is going to happen. And it's mm -hmm. going to take that that those digital wealth that people think they have on in, in an asset that only makes money when the stock market goes up it's going to all evaporate just like it did last time people don't understand that and it drives me crazy you can't convince them otherwise no no i'm a millionaire it says it right here in my in my account i am a millionaire oh okay good for you uh but let, then let of course answer. then they feel comfortable and they'll go shopping if they think they're a millionaire the wealth but, effect Oh, yeah. Then they take out the second mortgage on their house or the third mortgage on my house. Oh, I got all this money right here. And when when I can grab it, I'm going to pay off my mortgage. I'm going to pay off my three or four cars that I got, too. And I'm just going to be just fantastically great. No, because the setup here is very simple. Look, we have the biggest bubble we've ever seen. There's been nothing like it. It's a Frankenstein monster, like I wrote about in that book there. And it's the debt bubble. It's it's yeah. so monstrous. Oh That's scary. You know, and again, and we're just looking at it at face value. See, you uh, are a person that has a deeper understanding of this. If we're talking about, we look whenever you look at any asset at its face value. Okay, I'm gonna explain this to people out here real quick. You have to understand that underneath its face value are layers and layers and layers and layers of derivatives. Boom, yes. boom, 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 boom. And you can have multiple, in fact, endless layers of derivatives on it. Okay. Yep. And um, so. We don't even know what the, uh, there's no way to quantify to actually know what the debt bubble actually is. It's in the exactly. multiple, if there's a number bigger than quadrillion, I don't know what's over quadrillions, but it's in the multiple quadrillions. It may be even bigger than that. We do not know. It's it's an unknown here. And, the, and that's the other thing here. When people are trying to put this together here, when we're trying to look at the market, so we're trying to look at the scenario, there's always unknowns here. But mm -hmm. Having an understanding of what they're doing lets us see where we're going, I right. think. And that's what makes it interesting, at least to me. That's why I kind of love this stuff. I'm trying to always tinker with incomplete information because that's what we're doing. We're tinkering around with incomplete information in our own minds, and we're trying to come up with one of the most likely scenarios moving forward. But if you look at the scenario, the situation that we are in, and people look at it at its face value, and they think that's bad, could you imagine if they were really told what's lying underneath it or what lies beneath it or on top of it or whatever it might be? Right. I think people would be very, very, very afraid about of, of it. And again, they should this be. Stock, they should be. <laughs> they and should the, be. The, the bubble in the market right now, we had Ben Bernanke out today. I don't know if you caught this. It was beautiful. Oh, I missed ben it. Ben Bernanke said that it's unclear to him if the stock market is overvalued. It's fuzzy. <laughs> you can't see it. This is the same guy. Remember everybody who's listening right now who said that the subprime market was contained. Contained. You remember that word? Oh I man, sure this, do. and he's a scholar. Let me tell you something about, about Ben Bernanke. I like to scholarize him New York style a little bit. You know, I still got that New Yorker in me a little bit, as you can probably hear from the accent. But uh, yeah, he needs to be fixed in, in a big way. Um, he misled people last time. Is misleading them now. When you hear a man like that say something in an environment like this, you know things are very, very bad. So what people need to understand is, with regard to the market, yeah, look, and I don't want to clarify something, if I may, on your show. Please. I never tell people to buy stock. I trade derivatives. I tell people to get long. I've been long this market for, I have not been short this market, Lynette, and I can't even tell you how long. I've mm -hmm. been buying calls, 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 calls across the board. I never tell people to buy stock. Actually, that's not true. Last weekend, I told people when they, when President Trump was pushing Regeneron stock, and they were told, and it was all over the media that they were pumping him full of Regeneron stock. I said maybe we should go out and buy Regeneron stock. Guess what happened to Regeneron stock? Boom. Okay, right. he's out there promoting Regeneron right now. Whether or not he had COVID or not remains to be seen, but he sure is making Regeneron stock do well, isn't he? But anyway, look, this whole market, I don't care what Bernanke says, in fact, take the polar opposite on that, and I think you understand that, is in a massive bubble, and I think it's very difficult to get your head around. It's going to correct a fair value, and that cash is not going to go to money heaven. It's going to go into commodities. Going back to what I've been saying for a thousand years, we are going to get a meltdown in the debt market, which 
rates are going to skyrocket very rapidly at one particular point. That's going to put massive pressure on the stock market. That cash is oh, simply yeah. not going to go to money heaven. It's going to go into commodities. It's going to go into gold. It's going to go into silver. It's going to go into crude oil. It's going to go into tangible things. That's where it's going to go, in my view. I've been saying that forever. And it's not just me. you got multi-billion dollar hedge fund managers that are now saying the same thing. Even Alan Warren Greenspan. Buffett. Alan Greenspan. <laughs> the Buffett. Yeah. They're saying the same thing. It's about time. I mean, I've only been saying this for a freaking decade. Maybe they should, you know, look. All we're in is an environment of lies that is so bad. And again, it's all by design. People are being misled on an epic scale. And oh, yeah. if people don't get with the program right now and start getting together with like-minded people, start forming groups, get to start That's to the be- community friends. piece. Community, yeah, exactly. Look, I tell people, and I was on a, a, another show recently, and I've been saying this for a while. We, you and me, and the people listening here are our greatest resource. We are going to need each other moving forward, period, the end. Forget about these markets. Forget about all this stuff, because if you don't have interpersonal relationships uh, with like-minded people, and you're going to be out there in the cold alone. So get out there. When you're walking across your street and you see your neighbor, you know what? Ask him or her how they're doing. How are you doing today? How's things? You know, try to make friends with people. Get together again with like-minded groups. Because um, that's, that's what they do. They're dividing us and they're conquering us by everything. By age, by sex, by skin color, by wealth, by whatever they can do to make you hate these people. That's how they win. When you understand their plan, then you win. But again, look what's going on here. Why do you think under the last two presidents, I know you get it, I'm, asking, I'm talking to the people who are watching this, why do you think under these last two presidents we've been more divided than we ever have been? You think that's just by accident? Absolutely not. That's because we're marching right towards an end game that has been in play for a very, very, very long, long time. time. Federal Reserve is fulfilling their goal, their end game since 1913, to be the lender and buyer of last resort so they own it all. And when they own it all, and they already pretty much do, we lose, period, the end. Well, don't you think that they could, I know part of what I'm hearing a lot more these days is the loss of confidence in the Federal Reserve. So I'm wondering if that isn't gonna transfer over to the IMF, who's, yeah, obviously the Federal Reserve is, is uh, a member of the IMF, but where do you think they sit in this whole big mess? Because well, I think they're sitting and watching. Oh, of course. Look, the IMF, the Fed, the ECB, the BIS, all of this, the Bank of Internal right. Settlements, they're, they're all, this is all orchestrated. Every freaking thing, nothing at all we are seeing here is by accident. Nothing. It's all going exactly according to a plan that has been laid out a very long time time ago it sounds like some kind of a science fiction movie with some <laughs> evil doers that want to take over the world but this is the truth this is what's really happening and i'll tell you something which scares me more part of this grand plan is and, and look i've been telling people that the greatest threat to humankind is this debt bubble I've been telling yeah. people that when this debt bubble bursts, we are going to see a mass loss of human life uh, on a yeah. biblical scale. That's part of it, too. It That's is part, part of, of it. it, too. I, I look. And Greg, do you know that there are more people that are dying from hunger now than there are from COVID? Have you heard those? Of course, look, this is something that's going Look, we're not, we're not being, we're not allow us to see what's going on. This is what bothers me too. Going back to that, exactly what you just said. Look, I love people. That's really the truth. And I don't care what color they are. I don't care what right. sex they might be. I don't care about nothing. All I want us to do is unify ourselves and understand that we are not each other's enemies. So, with that right. said, when something terrible is happening in, in one part of the world, it hurts all of us it hurts all of us collectively whether you know it or not it's hurting you so look they they're winning we're losing there's starvation there's there's disease there's wars but no oh, look at the news do you hear any about this it's all whitewashed 
No, yeah, no, no. It it's all about the election. It's all about we have to reelect this person because they're going to save the world. Or we're going to have to elect this person because they're going to save the world. No, absolutely well, not. I don't care what puppet is sitting behind the resident. Oh, yeah, it doesn't desk. matter. They do not run the show. It's the right. banks. The exactly. banks run the way. We, I mean, how many times have we seen just in the past few months bank after bank after bank get caught red-handed rigging the markets jp morgan just got to find what a billion dollars for rigging the gold and silver markets and the treasury markets they paid a billion dollars how many people got Big arrested deal. right yeah. zero it's just, zero uh, look that should show people who runs the world here these banks can do whatever they want they can buy any puppet they want the president is a puppet and he will is every morning the president has a brief every morning the president is sat down and he has a brief and he's told what agenda to push. Okay, President Trump, puppet. Obama, puppet. Whoever wins the next election, puppet too. They're just a spokesperson to get people, give people something to believe in. That's all it is. That's all it is. And this is why they're being destroyed. This is why again we got an, an economic freefall. We're adding nothing. We're dying over here. And corporate America is stronger than they've ever been. People, wake up now. Because if this doesn't wake you up after hearing this conversation, nothing will. You're just done too. Well, I'd actually like to not think that that's the case. I would actually yeah. like to go back to part of the piece that you said in there, which, yeah. uh, let's see, what was it? Um, I know, I was running well, off at the mouth. I, I apologize. No, no, you're fine. But I would like to go back to the hopeful place because I don't feel like they are winning and we are losing. If we can come together, then we Look, can win because there's more of us than there are of them. You know that? That may be true, but hope isn't getting us anywhere. Look around you. Oh, everyone, everyone to look around you. We can hope all we want. If right. we do not act, then we're done as a people. Look, very few people have an understanding. Very few, it's a fraction. Just the same people that are holding the gold and silver right now, we're talking to them. The other people yeah. out there, the zombies that are walking the streets, there is no way to penetrate the, 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 the force field that's been put around them by the mainstream media. They're not gonna get it. This is so much bigger. Again, this is a design that's been going on for Oh, decades, yes. decades, maybe oh, longer than that. More than that, that I mean, look, longer than that, yeah. Than that. We've seen the, the civilizations throughout the world thrive and then the die off over and over and over again. It's just a pattern that will not stop. And the time we are in right now is no different because people are the same. There's always going to be those who understand the situation and those that will not understand it in the vast, vast majority, no matter what you do no matter what you say so what you mean no matter what do, they see and what they experience here. yeah no, no matter what they're just going to go down with the freaking titanic or whatever it might be because their great and powerful leader is telling them another story and that's and that's all done by design like you started off divide and conquer what you, what i'm focusing on and i urge people to unsubscribe from my channel all the time i really do i did it the other day and, and i picked up a thousand subs overnight and I, I urged them to unsubscribe today. I really did. And um, we cannot get through to these people, all right? There are some people that we, you and me, are going to be able to touch, all right? In other words, not, I don't mean physically touch, but, although, although that might be nice. But uh, <laughs> look, I see, I told you, I'm always joking around. But I mean get through to, so they can understand, all right? Those are the people that we need to focus on in my view in right. my view and i've said this many many times in fact i got beat up for what i'm about to say many many times i believe there was a natural selection occurring this natural selection has been occurring for quite a while now at least since i've been out here talking about 10 years ago and i started getting through to people and i get people that write to me greg wow i'm starting to see it the light bulb went off and once that light bulb goes off in someone's right. head you can't turn it off which is right. beautiful so forget about the throngs of people that we cannot penetrate I mean, I urge people to share our work. I want them to share this video. I want them to, to share your work. But the truth of the matter is, no matter how hard we try, there's going to be people that just can't do it. They, That's true. They're, they've been so indoctrinated by design since the moment they were born, they've yeah. been indoctrinated and they can't stop. So it's the free thinkers out there, the people that are able to think outside the box, free movement, free action, free thinking. Those are the ones that are going to, that are going to be able to be awakened or see the light here. 
The rest of them, they're going to stay in the darkness. See, you, you know what it's like. You try to show people even the slightest bit of light, they hate you. They attack you. They want to be held in the dark, and they're held there by a terrible, evil force. That's yeah. really the truth. You try to pull them out of that, and they don't like it. They want to go back into the darkness, and that's fine. This is why I tell these people, if you're one of those that can't handle the truth, because I give it to people as cold and as hard as I possibly can. I deliberately, I admit it right here. I deliberately go out on my blog and I try to trigger people. I deliberately go out on my social networks and try to piss people off. Not so much to really get them angry, to maybe, maybe Make them I can think. get a brain cell to fire. Maybe right. I can get them to start right. thinking a little bit, right. but most of them won't. Some of them will. And that's the people who I'm trying to get through to, because I've given up. I used to believe at one point, a, a, a little while back, that maybe there were more people that are going to understand the situation but even in this scam demic okay oh it is they're still not getting it they just have to believe in oh no no there's a saving grace here i'm going to be saved by a man with a very bad complexion oh i'm sorry i'm not supposed to talk about his complexion anymore i got beat up uh because i used to joke around and it was a joke i was a joke about president trump's complexion you know he's orange so apparently I got a whole bunch of, Greg, you know, you really should stop talking about President Trump's complexion because this is a medical condition. You know what? Maybe they're right. It may, I, I personally, I used to think it was a tan or something, but I got, I got killed for it. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to talk about President Trump's complexion because maybe he does have a medical condition. I don't know. So I won't do it. So forgive me for those of you that just got offended. But look, uh, I'm just joking around. Like I said, my, I guess, fallback is to joke around. And I always joke around. I've always been, kind of been like that. Although I can be very serious as well. But I think the, the, the understanding here, the takeaway from all this is, look, I wish in my heart of hearts that we could get through to more people. And I have some of my very dearest friends, my very dearest friends. They won't get it. They don't see it. They won't yeah. do it. Um, as a matter of fact, you want to hear something crazy? And I haven't even spoken about this. So this is an exclusive out here. Um, my own mother won't talk to me. My own oh. mother will not talk to me. We stopped talking, I don't know, a little while ago. She will not see it. She, the funny thing is my mom start. my mom had an awakening. It's the craziest thing in the world what happened to my mother. I don't know what happened. My mom was kind of one of these indoctrinated types. And then she started watching my work on uh, her son, she liked it. And she would go, Greg, I cannot believe what you're saying. It makes complete sense to me. It's like a light bulb went off and I couldn't shut her up. I was like, well, you know, you had an awakening, mom. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Then all of a sudden she reverted back. She, she had a relapse. And I think it's fear. I think that yes, she went back so. into that safe space because of fear. And maybe at one particular point, she's afraid. There's no doubt about it. A lot of people are afraid, rightly so. Especially when you have people like Ben Bernanke talking about how the market's not overvalued. Or he doesn't think so. But look, the bottom line is people are afraid. And I wish we could get through to more people. And I wish I had more hope than I do. I have hope in the people. Look, my hope sincerely is that we will get through to some more people, especially with a, a video like this. And an I have a like lot this. of hope. Yeah. And, you know, hope is great. And I, I, I'd love to, to play out. And I think we are making a difference. There's no doubt about it. Um, that's the reason why I think you and I are out here. I think we feel like we are doing a service yeah, for people and they definitely. can... You know, they can maybe take some of this away and maybe come up with it. I look, I want people to make up their own mind. I don't want people to convince, to believe me about a damn thing, not even about the stock market. I don't want people to think anything I'm saying is right. I want them to do their own research. I want them to do their to understand what they're seeing. Just start to think. That's all I want people to do. I always joke around about a functioning brain cell or two. I think that's all you need. One or two or three functioning brain cells. Start putting this together in your head. Look at what's going on around you. Forget about, turn off the ma mainstream media. When a politician starts to speak, mute his or her rear end. Just right. mute him. Right, because right. it's Start just distraction. To alternative news like this. Listen to shows like yours. You know, tune into Greg Manorino, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of other people out here trying to make a difference, too. Listen to these people because they care. Why, yeah. why do people like you and me get so passionate about this stuff? Because we care. Yeah. Because we see it. If we didn't care, I wouldn't give a damn. I really wouldn't. 
But the fact of the matter is I really do care. I hate seeing what I'm seeing here. I tell people all the time, I do not consider myself a member of the middle class. That's the truth. But I feel terrible for what's happening to the middle class right now. They're being destroyed. They're being systematically erased right before our eyes. These same people who are looking towards their great leader for, or great leaders to be saved. They got their faith and hope in the wrong spot. That's the truth. Yeah, anyway. they have to really kind of pull in and and look at it. I know with my work, what I try to do is <clears throat> just help people look at things a little teeny bit differently. Because once you do that, it's really quite amazing what you see. And then it, it is hard because people want to turn away from that. I, You know, I'm probably not quite as hard about it as you are. But that's why I give everybody links. Don't take my word for it. Don't take anybody's word for it. He, here's the raw data. You know, go ahead and look at this data, read it. If you have a different conclusion or a different opinion than I do, rock and roll hoochie coo. <laughs> but you know, for me, it, it really is about real money because they are destroying everything else. And those derivative bets, and the stock market, all, we've been trained to trust intangibles and to go to intangibles. I, I love that saying that was like, enjoy the experience, right? Not the stuff that can buy you out of a mess, not the stuff that can that is actually savings, like real gold, real silver, real things. Just embrace the experience. And then you end up with nothing but a mountain of debt. Can we well, can we go a little hopeful though? Because <clears throat> you did say, and we we are running out of time. But you did say that. Let's see. Oh, there's the paradox. Okay. So the paradox. Although this single event is going to leave the vast majority who survive desperate and destitute. Never before has there been a greater opportunity for those with little or no net worth to become massively wealthy. Do you still believe that? Because I, I do. I, I do believe that. I really do. But these people need to act. And they need to yes, act now. they need to act. Actually. And again, it's, it goes back to the people that you can't convince. They, 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 I, this is what drives me crazy. Okay, People would rather hold a Federal Reserve note okay, than hold a piece of gold a piece of silver, or even a piece of cryptocurrencies. I happen to own cryptocurrencies. I own all the big ones. And listen to the wording here. I own them, okay? That Federal Reserve note is not yours. It's not mine. Yeah, it's it's owned debt. by the Federal Reserve. It's owed mm -hmm. back to the Federal Reserve, plus interest that they create out of thin air. When I own right. a piece of gold, when I hold it, it's mine. It's nobody else's. There's no counterparty risk here. Okay, it's mine, exactly. other than the, the derivative market, rigging gold and silver, which I, I really like. Let them suppress the price from here to eternity, because at one particular time, it's going to decouple. Right now, I mean, it's, it's twisted. You have the price of physical gold and silver deriving value from a derivative. How twisted right. is that? Okay, that's pretty it, twisted. It's, it's upside down. I mean, right. I always use this analogy. Imagine if Apple stock derived value from Apple derivatives. I trade derivatives. I think I know derivatives pretty damn well. It would be upside down. It'd be, it be. wouldn't work, but it works fine with the with metals, doesn't it? Because they can rig it. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want to. But understanding, just, I don't, and I, I argue with people all the time. You mean you would rather hold a Federal Reserve note? It says right on there, Federal Reserve note. You would rather hold this then a piece of gold or silver, well, I'm not sure what I would do with a piece of gold or silver, Greg, but I can take this dollar or whatever and I can go buy something with it right now. Oh, yeah, and watch this. Right now. How, <laughs> right now, did, you know, evaporate moving forward. You want to understand how to take advantage of this thing? you got to look where, uh, where opportunity lies. And again, it's risk on. Right now, clearly, the stock market disconnected from the middle class. Reality, right? It, you know, reality. The middle class is dying. It's, it's no secret. We got the stock market here at near all time record highs. But again, it's, it's just all, all of this is not it's going it to doesn't make sense. It's a risk on environment with the, an economy in free fall. OK, that just shows you something's worse. That w w not working at one particular time. We're going to get a massive risk off 
yeah. environment. And when that risk off environment happens, suppressed assets, none more so in my view than gold, silver, platinum, palladium, none more so than silver, are going to balloon. To uh, look, This is what I see. I, I know we're probably running out of time, but I think people will appreciate this. Yeah. I think What's so. Greg Manorino's targets, price targets? I don't know what yours are, but I'm going to tell you what mine are with regard okay. to gold and silver. I believe when the Dow bottoms out, at whatever the Dow Jones Industrial Average bottoms out. Again, it'll right go now to we are one to one. La, la, no, I think we're going to end up at twice the Dow. I think we're going to get, uh, let's say Dow, let's say the bottom is Dow 4,000. Let's just put up, put an arbitrary number out here. Gold 8,000. If it's Dow 6,000, gold 12,000. And then I believe that the ratio of gold to silver will achieve 15 to one again. So just do the math. Just do the math at where silver is going to be at one particular time. So, I mean, come on. This is, and look, I don't want people to look at my calls here in this market. How I, I have been, look, am I tooting my own horn? Fine, I'll do it. I've been scary accurate in this market. I have been scary accurate. I've been telling people what the market would do, when the market would do it. I told people to dump Bitcoin when it hit 18,000. I got laughed at, I got ridiculed by big uh, cryptocurrency websites. And I have those same people now saying, Greg, you were right, I wish I would have listened to you. I told people to buy Bitcoin at 2,700, I got laughed at. People will tell me, oh, Greg, it's going to zero. It's at 11,000 today. So I think I know what I'm talking about. I, I started a free newsletter, okay? It's a, uh, where I post my trades, every single one of my trades, what I'm buying, the exact asset, the strike price, the expiration. I have put over 70 trades up there since March. I had two losses, two realized That's losses. That's phenomenal. It's unbelievable, okay? And yeah. it's, anyone can see it because I put it out. It's, you know, in real time, in real time. It's not like, oh, Greg's doing this in retrospect. No, it's in real time. I know what I'm talking about. So what I'm trying to say is, with my targets with regard to gold and silver, I think they're very achievable. And oh. it, look, it could be much bigger than that, too. It depends on what happens to the dollar. They're killing the dollar. We know that. These things are priced in dollars. If we end up in a, in, in a, a dollar free fall, by design, of course, and they introduce their digital currency, which I think they're going to come out with, who knows, oh, yeah. what they're going to, who knows how the gold and silver are going to be affected by this? Who knows how any assets going to be affected by this? And all my job is, and I consider it my job, is to keep people on the right side of it. That's it. That's all I want to do. See, and we appreciate that because there are people that are more have a tendency to more want to trade. And that's what your it's trader's choice. So that's what it's about. For me personally, I'm slower than that. I wouldn't have the patience to do it because it makes me too, you know, when I've done the options and the derivatives, quite honestly, even though I was licensed in that as a stockbroker, you have yeah. to pay way too much attention to that. So yeah. I'm slower. I'm more of a well, strategist. I'll do, it. I'll do it for you and I'll do it for free. Well, sign up, for my, news for, sign well, up for my newsletter. You'll get you'll well, get it right in your email box. Everybody, anybody can go right, go Gregory, it's a Substack, Gregory Manorino, sign up for my newsletter and I will send you and anybody who else wants it exactly what I'm buying, when I'm buying it, when I'm selling it, it'll all be right there for you. Um, couldn't be easier. I mean, could you imagine that there's somebody out here actually doing this for free? Yeah, well, you're looking at them because I want to level the playing field. This market is a game. This market is a charade. Why shouldn't we capitalize on it and then convert that into real assets? That's what I do. I keep yeah. a certain amount of money in my trading account. Once I get above that, I sweep that money out and I'm out here. I'm buying physical things. I'm buying gold. I'm buying silver. I'm buying platinum. I'm buying palladium. I'm buying cryptocurrencies too. I'm buying guitars. I'm buying pieces of artwork. I'm buying things that are tangible, real things. This is what you need to do. This is what I'm doing. Because this market is ridiculous. And I'll it be is. on the right side when it goes down too. I guarantee you that. When this market starts to sell off, I will be shorting this market into oblivion. Uh, and I'm going to be loving it the whole damn way. <laughs> Look, you well, heard it from the horse's mouth, people. I'm telling you how it's going to play out. And these people, I, I feel so bad for them. Their, mil their 401k millions of millions, it's just going to be transferred from your reality to someone else's. So you're hearing it right out of the horse's mouth, people. Get with the program. This has been great. Is there anything else that you want to leave anybody <laughs> with? Because you've got all the links to everything 
on our blog so you can get a hold of Greg. I mean, you know, I love him. Look, I mean, I not necessarily, you know, I'm not a trader, so I don't necessarily go in that regard. But for those that that but you're a be, stacker. You know, and you, and oh, you're, I'm you're, totally a stacker. You're a stacker. Oh, yes, I am. And, I and tell I'm people, a strategist. That's what I lead people off with. Stackers laugh at people like me. They really do. Because it's so simple. All you do is buy. And it's the most yep. greatest investment, I think, right now that you can, in my opinion, and I'm just going to say it, I think most people know. Gold, physical silver, physical silver, number one to me. It's so easy. It's just, it's a no-brainer. You just, I don't no care what the price is. I don't care what it's doing. All I know is in yeah. the long run, that's the right spot to be. You buy these things. And again, by doing that, it falls back into what I've been saying since day one. You're betting against the debt. You're becoming yep. your own central bank. Yep. I mean, I don't know another way to put it. I mean, I, when I, one day, I mean, that came, when that popped into my head, I just, I literally was like an epiphany to me. I was like, this is beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this until forever because I think it works. And it just allows people to understand how important it is to bet against this debt, become your own central bank, because this yep. environment is fake. The environment is going to become very real very quickly, and people are not going to see it coming. Most people are not going to see it coming. They don't see it coming now. Well, it looks like a massive train to me. <laughs> to you, because you are smart. You understand what's going on. And if we can maybe get through, you know, give give Greg Manorino a little more hope than he has. Show me people I'm here. I'm trying. Yeah, because I have a comments. lot of hope, actually. Yeah, I want people to say to me, Greg, you know what? I see what's going on here. I'm taking action. I'm betting against it. I'm yeah. becoming my own central bank. Because you're right. I have lost a lot of hope here in that we can get through to more people. I, I you know, in the, if this environment doesn't let people see what's going on, then nothing will. Nothing. Well... I think you just keep doing your work because it's fantastic. And I'll keep doing my work, which I also think is fantastic. Hey, it my is mother fantastic. Said, if you're it's fantastic. True, you say it. You, Thank you. You are fantastic. And your fans love you. They write to me all the time. <laughs> well, I am on a mission on this planet. This is what I was born to do, no doubt about it. Clearly, it's what you were born to do as well. And this has been phenomenal. And of course, we have to do it again. And even as we move forward, you know, you're not that far. And you did get two fabulous new cars. It could just be time for a road trip. It will. We, I'm telling you when they were going to do an interview in that office together. It's going to be all kinds of fun. People will oh, love it. Oh, it will be. It will be. <laughs> or maybe in the new studio that we're going to put in, in, in the bug out house. I love it. I love it. That's where I want to get you. All right. But that's it for today. Um, Make sure if you haven't watched the interview, well, the conversation really that George and I had in person. So we've got to do one, Greg. I love those in-person interviews. We Next will. week, I'll be on with Chris Marcus from Arcadia Economics, and that's a new channel. So that's always fun for me because I never know where it's going to go and what they're going to ask me. And on Tuesday, I have another great coffee with Lynette scheduled for Jason Hartman. And he talks a lot about real estate. So this should also be an interesting discussion. And I just like to keep everybody in mind of one thing. You've got to hear a lot of different opinions so that you can, and then do your own due diligence so that you can make educated choices that support your best interest first. So if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you share, share, share. I too would say that this is an important interview to share with anybody out there that you know and you love. So all of the links for how you can get a hold of Greg, again, they're on our blog, itmtrading.com forward slash blog. And until next we meet, just keep in mind, it is absolutely time to cover your assets. And here at ITM Trading, we do that with the Well Shield, which is made up of physical gold and physical silver that, as Greg pointed out, runs no counterparty risk. And until next we meet, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.